While you may know how to arc walls to create a round room on its own, but how do you insert a circular room adjacent to other rooms? Here's a simple and quick method to sketching a circular room in the middle of a sketch. In order for the walls to combine, they need to be at the same angle. This makes merging arced walls into an existing sketch nearly impossible if it's drawn at the end of the drawing. So, before you sketch the rooms adjoining the circular room, simply draw the circle first off to the side. We'll attach the joining room, then dimension them. Dimension your room to the diameter of the circle. In this example, the circle is 10 feet from end to end. If there aren't any walls, make sure that you dimension the diameter without the walls. Because once we arc the room, we can't change size. If the room has any openings, you'll want to arc the wall first. Select it and open its properties. Change arced walls to yes. Then change the arc distance to half of the diameter. For me, that's five feet. Next, grab the handle on the opposite wall and bring it as close to the arc as possible. While the two inch gap means that it won't be a perfect circle, it will give us a flat edge to connect the circular room to the adjacent rooms. Next, arc the opposite wall with the same distance as the first. The room is nearly a perfect circle. In case you're concerned that the extra two inches are throwing off my totals, let's check the properties. Here I see that my floor is 78.1 square feet. My geometry calculator says that the area of a circle with a radius of five feet is 78.5, which means that the circle we sketched is less than half a square foot off. This is often close enough for many estimates. Now that our circular room is drawn, we can attach the adjacent room. Use the room tool and snap the sides to the two inch gap at the center of the circle. Stretch the room until it goes past the circle where appropriate. As you drag it out and around, it should snap into the two inch gap on the opposite side. Use the control key to add another room into the corner if you're trying to completely surround the circle. See the expert tip on rooms inside of rooms for more detailed explanation. Fill in the gaps until the circle is surrounded. Now that the straight walls are in place, use the missing wall tool to remove unwanted walls, hide labels, subgroup rooms together, and change any other properties. Adding circular spaces into the middle of the sketch is possible and quick, giving you accurate totals for your estimate. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week. Visit exactware.com forward slash training for additional training on Xactware products.